Hello everyone, once again, a very good afternoon to all of you. I'm Christina Tang from Body, Mind, Soul Live Talk and these mark our Live Talk 11, hey, no, 15. I'm reading 15 but my mind say 11. What's going on, man? I think I got a disease. It's called the Chief Editor Disease. <laughs> So, uh, good afternoon to all of you out here. I believe some of you have been asking, you know, what is the topic today that we are sharing because the poster, uh, the flyer, everything look brand new, very something different from our usual poster. Yes, because today we are going to talk about our friend Sarah. But Sarah is not joining us live. She is prefer to remain anonymous so that no one know how she looks like. Yeah. Well, what however, I have we have invited our chief editor, Body Mind Soul Chief Editor, to join us today to talk a little bit more about Sarah and to let everyone know about Sarah. Oh, <laughs> I have a comment over here. 11 was my live talk. Yes, Jason, I think I miss your live talk too much already. I keep mentioning <laughs> 11 perhaps. Thank you very much, Jason, and have a good day to you as well. Yeah, continue to join us if you can. Huh? I understand that, you know, weekend usually you're very packed. So yes, for all of you out there, if you do not know what Body, Mind, Soul Live Talk is all about, every week we have a live talk weekly on Saturday, 2 o'clock, and we address different, different issues. We have different topics. We have different um, uh, uh, speakers from different various, uh, what do you call that, background, professions, you know, some are actually our certified uh, in-house, the Golden Space Practitioner, uh, some are other profession from other fields as well. So, yesterday, I started off the whole session with having, saying hi to all the viewers at the same time. <laughs> I asked all the viewers to help me so that I can improve my way of conversation, uh, conversing, you know, my way of talking. In the past, I, let me repeat the story a little bit. I've been running this live talk since May. If some of you have followed me uh, since the very first talk with Beatrice Lee, our managing director of the Golden Space. Yes, we have, uh, we started out from there in May while everything was still unsure, uncertain, you know, we started to have to talk. The whole idea is to uh, support all the readers, all the viewers and all the followers to also give out tips. So all the talk have been skilled towards having at minimum three tips or three objective so that, you know, uh, you and I, both of us, with, even though we are just a screen away, we can learn together, even for me as a whole. I can learn together. But what I didn't realize until my dear chief editor mentioned it to me is, was, Christina, do you know you always say actually, the word actually? I said, did I? Yeah, always. Always you will say actually when you don't actually need to say the word actually. <laughs> and, and that brought to my attention that yeah, when I watch back all the live, I'm like, oh yeah, I did say a lot of actually. So I asked the viewer yesterday night to help me to count how many actually I have said in a live talk. And I've forgotten to announce the answer yesterday night. <laughs> apparently, apparently because I'm so aware, I managed to stream down to less than five times yesterday night when I say the word actually, uh, when I don't need to actually say the word actually, okay? This sounds like a rhyme, right? I know, I know. I hope all of you are having fun, as much fun as me, okay? <laughs> so today, we're going to do the same thing as well. While you are hearing um, uh, the beautiful conversation that later me and uh, Lily and I will be having, Inside your heart, you know, let's see how focused and how present you are at the same time together with me to see how many times I've said the word actually when I don't actually need to say actually. <laughs> so good. I'm such a good person to make fun of my own self and learn. The whole key here is actually for, oh, I just say it. The whole key here is for me to grow and learn and to improve 
my hosting uh, skills as well. All right. So I have a few comments over here. Lao say, Christina, today, Ping Ping, yeah. I'm blushing here because I just realized I said actually three times already. <laughs> I have Trisha feeling very happy. I have Vivian, I actually ha 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 ha. Now 10 times. No la, Trisha, we got starting from now. Only then you start to count. Whatever that I've said in the past, it doesn't count. Because why? Because I'm the host. The show is all on my control. Okay. So today we are here to talk about Sarah. Um, it's a segment that uh, Body Mind Soul Magazine have launched before. Um, I would really, really love to have everyone do the same thing every time when I need to bring out our guests. Put your hands together, even though we are a screen away. I don't really see you, but to put your hands together and welcome together with me. Clap, 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 clap. clap. Together with me with our chief editor, Yo Lili. Hi, Lili. Hello. How are you? Myself. Yes, please. We need that. Sometimes we need to have all this self motivation, you know, yeah. self applause to feel, to feel good as well. We have to make ourselves feel good. Do you feel? Do you feel pretty today? Are you I'm feeling very, pretty? I, I I say first. I'm very. <laughs> <laughs> I am as pretty as you are. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Good or you are still feeling nervous? I am good. Of course, this is not my first time here. So I, I love, you know, Christina, you can talk nonstop. I've, it's something I wish I have, but I don't because I'm quite an introvert character. You know, for you to just talk and talk and talk, it makes it, it's, it's, it's a wonder to me, you know, how, how if you're even just talking about the word actually, you can go on and on. <laughs> My mom, my mom made a comment yesterday that I'm too chong hey. My mom comment. My mom watched my life apparently. So I have a comment over here. Pre, uh, Lau is saying, pretty, pretty, you look pro great. And uh, Vivian, you both actually look gorgeous today. I'm reading out the word. I'm not saying it yet. I have some comment that I don't feel like pulling out, but I feel like that person really want me to show. Christina, you have boyfriend already? No, not yet. I'm still available and single. Come, come, come. Oh, <laughs> I have Eva. Hi. Yes, I have Eva. Hi, Christina and Lily. Yeah, hi, Eva. Nice to see you here. So, um, Vivian is commenting, Lily, you are introvert. Very funny. I'm introvert. <laughs> I'm okay. Really, I'm to be an extrovert when I'm around you guys, lah. All right. Okay. But today, our our key here is to talk about Sarah. Lily, yes. can you share with us a little bit more about dear Sarah or Sarah, perhaps? Okay. Well, when the magazine first started in 2014, um, you know, apart from uh, having articles that allows people to I would say help themselves, giving them hope and allowing them to uh, go through their own life challenges. We thought mm. it was more, it was very passive. Yeah. So we wanted to have a dual way communication. And that that one way in a publication was to have this column called Dear Sarah, where someone can literally email in and ask whatever questions that they feel that they needed more answers or more clarity on. So this ran on from volume two to volume six, which is from 2014 to mm -hmm, 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have quite a few uh, questionnaires that came in and uh, we were, we, we, we felt that after a while we wanted to stop it because uh, we did not have um enough manpower or enough resources to continue but all this while all this while sarah has been answering all the questions right yes like sarah sarah basically sarah is our in-house uh, i would say our resident advisor correct yeah. yes yeah but then after that i believe also because magazine need to move forward as well and that's where we decided to together with sarah that you know let's stop for a while yes yes so why but then recently, Sarah feels it's the need to re-offer this forum out or this platform out to all the viewers, correct? Yes, definitely. Because like I said, you know, 
the resources now it is available and and we are really you know we want to make this a success for everyone out there especially at this time you know of the year at, you know in 2020 where people are i mean we, we offer workshops four times a year but how else can we be more proactive with the readers mm -hmm. and this is where we want to uh, um, allow or we want to give back to the community to give them yeah. more platform to to share to question to understand to to grow better yeah i yesterday i've uh, i've actually uh <laughs> I caught myself, I say the word actually again. Anyway, <laughs> yesterday I've taught, I've informed the audience um how 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 well I have benefited from Sarah in a way uh because of my own um issue. I kind of seek her clarity. So we we wanted, you know, um I believe Sarah wished to also reach out to the public because of uh definitely there are more questions and and they are, they are more, I would say they are more readers or viewers have a lot of unsaid emotions or unsaid questions that they might not have an outlet to express themselves or they cannot find a right space to, to speak about. That is why we uh, re-invite re our resident advisor, Sarah, to join us back and to come up with this and in in a way it's a different um different way of approach for sarah as well last time she used to receive emails now we are doing it slightly differently but before i go there and introduce to everyone how we are doing it this round i would wish to also let all the viewers out there to know a little bit about sarah how i feel sarah you know she has uh, a lot of my friends, when I when I told them about this segment, right, that this week we are going to talk about Sarah, the first thing that they thought it would be Sarah to appear screen, you know, so that we can interview her. Yeah, but no, Sarah said no. Sarah wished to have the chief editor to represent her. Why? Because I, I did, Lily, I did, I did talk to her and I did kind of like um, ask her, you know, why don't you just come out? You know, she says she prefer to remain anonymous simply because sometimes we feel it's safer to talk to someone that we don't really have a face in our in our mind, and and that kind of create safe that we feel safe to truly express and pour out all our questions or our doubts or or our our problems that you know some of the problems we can't even talk to our loved ones but here you are we have sarah who is uh filled with a lot of life experience and who who is who is very non-judgmental yeah yeah yesterday lily you asked me what is what how do we know if we are being judgmental or not this question never occurred to sarah some simply because she is never judgmental right so this is something that i believe um it will help a lot of us because she has internally help a, a, a lot of us who are in the team as well she has internally helped us so that therefore she said you know i believe it's the right time to also re-offer this segment and see and and we did have like a good conversation about it to really launch it again yeah lily right yes. yes how you how you feel how you feel about sarah personally um you see the a whole entire objective that we wanted to to re uh, introduce Sarah is um, allowing readers or the public to have a safe space to share their life issues, whether you know, like you say, whether it's emotional or or any any daily uh, challenges. Yeah. So um, we wanted to, um, you know, because it it worked for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Because as a resident advisor, I mean, every other day we definitely have many challenges, whether it's at work, or home, or health, or even just relationships of many kinds. You know that we that we're bound to have uh, issues that crop up every once in a while, for sure. And then sometimes I I am unable to see through or overcome that challenge. Sarah, Sarah kind of like give you a hint, right? Yes. Yes, so she is someone I can approach uh, and I feel safe, you know, to share what I need to share. And mm. it could be about, 
you know, my 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 subordinates. It could be about my colleagues. It could be about my parents. It could be about my children. You know, so this person, Sarah, is non-judgmental in that sense. So she doesn't come from, hey, I know this person and this person shouldn't be this and or shouldn't be that or should be this. Mm, and, mm, you know, mm, mm, so, so this person to me is safe because this person is just coming from a clear state, I would say. You know, neutral. Not, uh. Yes, neutral. And mm. not needing to be on any sides. But yeah. to clearly understand what I'm going through and, mm -hmm. and allowing me to see what I'm not seeing. And, and that itself, it's, an, um, I would say, a learning for me. Yeah. Mm. Nice, because nice. I have... you know, we, we tend to blame. When we have an issue, we tend to blame this person and that person. Right. Yeah. And and we don't realize that we are going through the blame, and it's a, a third party can come in and say, "Hey, look, but you're blaming again." And why? And and she come from very neutral state because she Correct. didn't. She's not biased to either side. Right. Yes. So Lily, I have a good one. Uh, Cindy is saying Sarah, Sarah, and Trisha is also uh, commenting. Someone let me feel safe too. Exactly. So for those who are uh, you know who really looking for a safe safe space to truly express your issue or even asking silly question come bring it on man sarah sometimes i can assure you sarah can be quite sarcastic and witty at the same time as well so if you have some uh, funny question that you feel like you just want to try where her barrier is bring it on i can't wait for her to express herself and show you how she is and who she is uh, um you know through the email as well so we have talked so much about the uh, sarah i just keep having a song okay sarah sarah whatever will be will be i keep ringing in my mind lah. i'm sure everyone is also listening to this and hearing this but i believe last time lily um one of the way for for the readers or the viewers to reach out to sarah was to email to sarah correct yes yes correct. yeah but now we are doing it very differently uh we get everyone to go to our website correct but before that we have a question from vivian will sarah answer everyone's questions yeah sarah is truly here to help because previously it was meant to uh to guide and to answer all the questions from everyone and then when magazine moved forward uh, we kind of dropped that segment in the magazine and sarah has become our uh in-house a resident advisor that has been helping the team members of body mind soul magazine as well but now we are offering to uh, have sarah to answer all questions from every corner of the world whether you are from malaysia singapore indonesia wherever if you have any questions you can throw it in um of course she has every right whether to answer you or not but i'm sure sarah being sarah will definitely answer everyone yes so i you're right lily so i, yeah, I believe because sarah mm -hmm. as i know she is she's full of life wisdom um mm. and she listens with an open heart and mm. definitely pushes me when i'm stubborn to look into a certain egoistic uh situation <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. sometimes you'll just boop, that's it <laughs> yeah so it's a, it's needed push sometimes yeah. because when we are being stubborn and we refuse to change you know and thinking mm -hmm. that we're always right so so sarah always knows what to do but i would like to to maybe give you an example of the previous questions that that, that was thrown to sarah during that uh, volume two to six example mm -hmm. questions that we received was like why do i procrastinate how do i get out of this procrastination for example so that was answered in volume two. So if you would like to also uh, uh, know what was uh, answered by dear Sarah, you can always purchase volume two from our website. So someone mm. also asked, what do you mean or how do you practice ask and you shall receive? You know, we always hear this ah, saying, yeah. ask and you shall receive. So how does it apply to my life? How can I apply it in my daily life? What does it, what does it actually mean, you know? Or like, how can meditation control my stress at work and at home? So um, this was a question that, that Sarah answered previously. But I want to, to stress that Sarah can answer any questions that is related to anything life. and everything. Related life. to life, and, yeah. Yes. And it doesn't have to be an issue per se. Mm -hmm. It can be 
like uh say if i don't have a problem i was like oh i don't feel good when i just when i come home sometimes you know is there something wrong energetically or maybe it, or i've heard about space cleansing how do i space cleanse my house or my room you know it can be mm. as as that or it can be as simple as i'm shifting or i am doing a a uh, i would like to shift some of the the my bed for example what's the best feng shui placement you know <laughs> <laughs> to sleep in for example uh, if she can answer you yes she will go there yeah yes. so it can be as simple as that uh, it, any anything at all or basically mm. why having pimples i don't use to have pimples in my face but why all of a sudden i'm having breakouts and i don't oh, get yeah. it yeah because yeah. People, sometimes, sometimes beauty tips as well yeah, yeah exactly sarah can also address things like that but we have talked so much about Sarah and I believe it's time to also show the audience how can they reach out to Sarah. But before that, I have Michelle saying hi to us. Hello, Michelle. Nice being here. Uh, Ki Wei also saying hi to us. Hi, Shi Wei. Hello. Yeah. And Vivian is like, Sarah is really wife. Yes. Um, Sarah, a lot of time answer questions based on her experience. Yeah, definitely it's based on her life experience. And therefore, um, she is... I, I believe she filled with a lot of uh, uh, experiences in life. She have gone through things as well. And um, that's therefore what uh, she will try her best to give some direction or some suggestion um, to all the audience who actually wrote in. So before that, let me just pull out Lily. This is the website. Now we have a link um, that uh, our admin is showing on. Yeah, admin, please help me to pin to the top as well on the comment. So to all the audience, we have had this website uh, ready for, for, for all of you to write in to Sarah. It's bodymindsoul.com.my slash dear dash Sarah. So if you see on the top here, you can click to dear Sarah. So you can write in directly so that, uh, you know, if you are looking for loving support and help to assist you on your self-discovery uh, journey, all you need to do is email address is very, very important. Make sure that you key in the right email address so that you can receive the revert from Sarah as well as your questions over here. You can write as long as you want. There is no limitation on there. Give us your name as well and gender and your date of birth and country of residence where are you from and once you are done you click submit allow four to five days for sarah to get back to you because a lot of time it kind of like take a lot uh, a lot of effort for her as well so this is the website that uh, you can write to us it's no longer through email yeah we find we found out a system that works better for sarah to manage all the questions Sometimes it's quite overwhelming, yeah. We, we didn't know, right, that there are a lot of questions that have not been answered or, you know, we didn't know, we, we don't feel safe to express to others sometimes. Yeah, Lily, do you actually have uh, had, had that kind of experience before? Sorry, to uh, feeling safe? Yeah, like you don't feel safe to express to anyone around yeah. you? Sarah? Definitely. Um, sometimes, um, I mean, I do have few close friends, but mm -hmm. sometimes it, it, it can be sensitive, you know, to, mm. to, to, to these people that I would like, uh, to my friends that I would like to speak to. So Sarah had provided me a platform for me to ask questions safely so that it does not, it, it, it can be sensitive, like I said, you know, to certain mm. friends. So I rather have this safe place. To, to ask and get a clarity, to more clarity and at least some answers for me to move forward and understand myself better. And most important, with ease. Because when 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 I have, I won't say a, a, a Sarah gives me an outright solution, but she mm. gives me clarity so that I can make a clear solution, a more direct uh, uh, decision towards where I want to go. You know, because in the end, it, yeah. Do. Exactly, because in the end, it's, it's our life, right? What Whatever Sarah can do is just a piece of advice. As, as we always say, she's our resident advisor. So mainly she is advising uh, all these things to us and it's up to us to make the decision because in the end, we, we ourselves have to make the decision, right? I have a comment over here. Look forward to your singing today. Will you end with a song? Ah, 
Yes, I want you to sing that song that you sang Which earlier. Song? Which song? K Sarah Sarah. K Sarah. Yeah, what it means K to you. What does K Sarah Sarah means to you? Whatever will be, will be. <laughs> I believe it's just about that la. But Lily, what is the most recent thing that you have talked to Sarah and she gave you a piece of some sort ah, of advice? Yes, perhaps I'd like to share this story. So um, I do have a very uh, negative habitual pattern where I, you know, uh, and when whenever I face challenges, I would usually start to have this mind chatter that I would say negative oh no, I, I, I can't, you know, it's it's not my thing. I don't know how to do this. I, how can, uh, why why is this happening to me, you know? So, so that negative thought patterns was constantly in my mind. So, but mm. when I spoke to Sarah and, and she, she made me realize that this thought patterns was not productive. It gave me, um, well, apart from not giving me clarity, of course, it wasn't productive because every time this, this mind chatter kept coming up and I didn't know what to do, I couldn't make decisions as well. So, mm. um, so Sarah told me to be aware, to, be, to have this awareness every time this negative mind chatter comes in. Yeah. Okay. So that was tip number one, to be aware of my, of my negative mind chatter. And then once, once I'm aware, immediately I would go into asking positive questions. For example, if you were to Google something that you don't know, do you say, mm -hmm. I am sad? You know, how to be sadder? You don't, right? You, you say how to, how to be happy. That's what you Google in, 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 on your laptop or on your phone. So it's the same mm. practice. So I did that. I, pra I started practicing. How do I do this better? How can I, uh, how can I make this a success? How can I be uh, more productive? How so I started asking positive questions, you know, and it mm. became yeah, it helped me to to shift my mindset. It helped me to shift my entire thinking to become more positive. So asking the right question is very important. So for yeah. you, for you, ask the right question instead. Um, for to you asking the right question, it means that instead of asking why am I like this, why this happened to me, instead of asking the why, ask the word start with how. Yes. How yes. can I improve this situation? How can I make myself better? So that is uh, one of the. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. How can I do this? Yeah. Mm. Sometimes I don't know how to do this. I I I can't. I can't. You know. But mm. it, when once you start ask, how can I do this? Immediately, your your mind starts to Google, Google search, you know. So mm. wait, maybe I can this, maybe I can that, you know. So, yeah. so ideas will start running in your head. So sometimes the word starting of the question is is very important. Yeah, we used to we used to use why this happened to me, blah 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 blah. But now you are switching your uh, thinking pattern to how. Yes. Yes, that so really I, I, uh, Sarah also shared with me that, you see, uh, when we are constantly having this negative pattern, yeah, mm. to make it a permanent positive pattern, it takes minimum of 45 days for our neurotransmitter in our brain to make that permanent change. Mm. Yeah. So if you can practice for a minimum for 45 days, it will become permanent. So that, that, that negative mind chatter no more comes up automatically. And I don't have to be constantly be aware of these negative patterns. Yeah. Mm. Of these negative thought patterns. So if I can constantly do this for 45 days, it becomes a permanent neurotransmitter uh, 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 switch, you know, of uh, the, 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 br the brain uh, transmitter. Kind of like switch pattern. Yes, such to switch to that, that positive thinking patterns. And it will become permanent, meaning it will become a permanent habitual pattern, you know. And you don't need to be aware of it anymore because it is like it that. It is there with you. It becomes you. It becomes a part of you. Yeah. So that so, was my my a uh, very good uh, one of the very good uh, realization that Sarah taught me, and 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 this is something that that helps me in my daily life. I must say. Ah, uh, I I would like to hear from the hear from the. Um, 
you know, the crowd, anyone out there who have had similar experience with Lily, where or whatever that you're going through, especially all of us are going through a lot of things recently as well. Um, what is, when, when Lily is sharing, what do you reflect on yourself, right? Uh, did you catch yourself that, hey, I, I have the similar thinking pattern that, um, that Lily used to have? I constantly, perhaps we constantly sit on an issue and we ask the word why instead of how. So let us just have a quick recap. At the same time, I really wish to hear from all the crowd out there. How do you feel with what Lily has said? Does it resonate with you? And what is your comment to us? And so that we can continue to share with you more. So Lily has showed us the first thing she realized after speaking with Sarah was to be aware. Be aware of your thinking patterns because a lot of time we are very easily drawn towards the negative thinking patterns, which is normal, 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 don't worry. But once you decide to make a change, that's when Lily speak to Sarah as well. Sarah gave her a hint that you ask the right question. Start with asking the right question instead of blaming the entire world blaming yourself criticizing about yourself that you didn't do well that you didn't perform why this thing happened to us it's all about fate no ask the right question how can i improve how can i make myself better what else can i do how can i make this situation better and therefore it will start to switch your habitual thinking pattern like me I started with the talk show, saying a lot of times of the word actually, and I am asking the whole world who is watching the live now to help me to count how many times I say the word actually when I don't actually need to use the word actually. Wow, that's three in one sentence. <laughs> yeah, because you used to say I can use up to two actually in one sentence and that kind of annoyed you who is english educated you see i'm coming from a chinese educated background when we say actually it means a lot to us actually can mean i am expressing i want to emphasize certain thing i i'm telling you the truth i want to i want i want you to really hear me out that is why i use the word actually actually mean a lot of different word in in mandarin okay to me that is to me personally i'm not saying that all chinese ad who speak english will have this same <laughs> pattern as just me but ask the right question so one of the right question that i did was to, uh, to actually <laughs> to get all the audience and help me to count how many times I say the word actually. So this way helped me to improve. I truly see that um, by doing this, uh, my whole intention is to really improve myself and to be more aware um, the usage of the word actually. And I noticed yesterday when I don't use the word actually, I use the word, uh, which was it already? I use the word really. <laughs> oh no, that better not be three my new word. <laughs> my new word in the new norm. <laughs> anyway, so Lily have said, ask the right question. So now I'm asking the right question to all the audience and it will take 45 days to turn the whole thing because of the neuron. So that's where the constant practice. From now onwards, Christina, from time to time, will get, uh, will, uh, will get the audience to count together with me. So over here, I have some comment, yeah, Lily, that I wish to pull out also. Uh, yeah, Vivian was saying, yeah, sometimes it's easier to get help from someone who can be objective. Exactly, Sarah is someone that we really speak to and how to ask the right question if the person we talk to is an introvert. That's why we encourage everyone to ask Dear Sarah. Yeah. So again, for those who just join us, we have uh, Sarah have came out again, come out again. And now this time you can straight away visit our website and you can ask your question. Make sure you key in your email address correctly so that Sarah can revert back to you. Yeah, Michelle, you will not feel like you're talking to the wall anymore. It will become 
uh, more objective and you will have some advice, you know, and, and some direction and clarity as well. So don't you worry. Yes, there yeah. are two to to be assured that we will uh we will ensure that sarah replies you even if it's going to take four to five days so mm. uh we will definitely have uh, some sort of clarity for you via the email yeah and a lot of times this advice is just a piece of advice in the end the decision is still up to us like for instance if you know if not because lily uh highlight to me about the word actually I can decide not to think about it or I, I mean after she highlight to me I can decide not to do anything not to take any action uh, if I feel I'm comfortable with it but when I watch back all my life I truly feel I need to drop the word actually so therefore here we are to have a game with me in this talk we're having everyone to count the word actually so Lily anything else that you wish to share to Oh, talk to Sarah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can write in to Sarah. Don't worry. Yeah. And one of the reason, again, to all the public, why Sarah is not here together with us is because she prefers to remain anonymous to create that safe space so that anyone and everyone can truly pour out whatever that you have inside you, uh, perhaps something that you have kept for a long time and you have no outlet to let it out, you know, be assured that this space is a safe space that she truly honor and respect your privacy. Of course, there are terms and conditions that are on the website. Uh, do read through the website as well of all the terms and conditions as well, yeah? So, Lily, anything else that you wish to share? Um, well... Not really. Like for, but yeah, like for me yesterday, I talked a lot about listening with open heart, which is something that Sarah strength as well. She yes. truly listened with open heart, right? Mm -hmm. um, Sarah has, well, she's very intuitive and she has, uh, of course, uh, no, don't talk about intuitive. La. She has a very high psychic ability as well. So sometimes <laughs> when I just, when I, I say, no, no, that's not my issue. And she said, uh, are you sure this is not your issue? But you have been facing this and this and that. And I was like, oh, okay. I forgot you. We are very psychic, and and, <laughs> and and you know, it hit me directly. I was like, oh yeah, yes, you're right. You know, and and a lot of times when when I needed answers uh, directly, which I really found that I have no way out. You know, and I couldn't make that decision because I felt that. Regards, with regards to whatever decision I was going to make, it wasn't going to be uh, 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 positive for me. You know, mm. so I said, look, you know, uh, I really need, apart from getting clarity, I, I really don't know how to make this decision. So Sarah helped me to not only uh, gave me suggestions and, and whatnot, but she allowed me a safe space to uh, improve my psychic ability as well, to, to trust mm. myself. To trust my my inner trust your gut feeling. Yes, yes. So I, with that uh, uh, assistance, I would say, you know, with mm. that help from Sarah, I also began to trust my my gut feeling, my my inner inner voice, you know, and and that gave me a lot of help because sometimes, you know, I realized I don't need to go to her so much anymore because I can, you know, I can hear my yeah. own voice yeah and, yeah and so she, she in a way she's quite empowering and also encouraging la. definitely she's she's quite empowering and also encouraging to encourage us to truly be ourselves trust ourselves trust our instinct trust our gut feeling as well and have that courage to face whatever that we need to face as well yeah. so i keep receiving a lot of uh requests to sing a song so might as well get done with it because the request is very loud so sarah we keep saying about sarah and and i keep having that you know that kind of thoughts uh that kind of song k uh k sarah sarah uh, by doris day i believe from the very beginning so i'm just gonna sing a very short one to entertain all of you out there so that all of you will be smiling together with me on this beautiful saturday together with our chief editor uh, just a very short one uh let's see when i was just a little girl i asked my mother what will i be Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here is what she, here's what she said to me. 
Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. The future is now a sea. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, what will be, will be. Okay. Ah, after I sing, must clap one. Okay, show me that you have supported. All right. And I um and Lau asked me to sing a song to end. I will sing back the same song again that I've sang before. I love that song very much. What what uh well when you, when we were singing that song, it gave me a realization as well, you know, mm -hmm. uh, on what this song was trying to say. You know, when we were young, as as little girls, it's always like when is that night in shining armor gonna sweep me up uh, and marry me and then we go and have a happy ending a happy family ending in a castle you know that's always uh -huh. a little princess dreams right it's and like that's a heart. constant question that we have when we were when we were young yeah and then so now that we are older and wiser you know <laughs> it's not as simple as just a prince charming come and sweep you off your feet because there's a lot of lessons to learn in life yeah and what we need to go through is because it we need to grow we need to learn and we need to understand what is it in here that makes a relationship work better so it's not about what the other person is doing to us but it mm. is how this person is assisting in us in our growth therefore yeah. sarah was there to help me in this times those times as well i must say and uh as the song says uh whatever will be will be sometimes there do there is no answer to that particular situation because whatever mm. happens will happen and yes. it is about you know uh, embracing change embracing the situation and loving everything as it is so whatever yep. will be will be so so that was that's a very good song you know come to think of it it, it does apply to our daily life it is what it is definitely you? sorry how, how 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 do you feel that the song can apply to you to you I believe, you know, when, when everyone asked me to sing, I, I was quickly, you know, while, while I'm still talking with you, I, I Google up the lyrics uh, because I don't really remember the song. I only remember, okay, Sarah, okay, Sarah, uh, whatever will be, will be, right? But the first paragraph, I decided very instantly that, you know, just sing the first paragraph because like what you say, you know, when I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? I believe everyone had that inside us, even until now. What, what will I be in another three to five years, right? What will I be tomorrow? What will I be in the next month? I believe all of us have that question inside us. But what propel us to continue to move forward positively is whatever will be, will be. As long as we we have that heart to really listen um, to ourselves or to even uh, uh, you know any advice from around us, people around us, and uh, listen with open heart and continue to move forward and accept whatever that has happened now is truly meant for us to become a better version of us. Yes. In in maybe in in next month, I don't know. Right, like for me to suddenly sing life in a live talk, do I have fear? Yeah, kind of. Do I feel like am I good enough? I'm not a singer, you know. But I enjoy singing, right? I enjoy singing. I graduated with a music degree. I enjoy music, and I feel certain song has certain meaning for that particular talk. And I, I wish that you know, with that song can come out. Uh, we, we can, we can. Um, you know, we can touch heart very differently. So that's where I decided to do what I do. I have quite a lot of comment over here. And Dear Sarah, basically, um, it's a support system in a way that has been helping us. Uh, I have Michelle saying, ooh, nice one. Vivian, clap, clap, clap. Michelle asked me to sing in Mandarin. Ah, when I sing in Mandarin, it's a different yeah, vibe. Right? You're going you're gonna to suggest a song that can actually sing life in a life, Okay. Oh, that's my mom watching me. Yeah, mom, when I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? <laughs> my what mom did said, you want to be when you were growing up? When I was growing up, I wanted yeah. to be nurse or air stewardess. 
Wow. But then, when I grown up, my weight and my height have stopped me from becoming an air stewardess. <laughs> And nurse, I I cannot, and, and nurse cannot because I'm too afraid of taking blood. Oh man, I see blood. I, and myself, I myself is afraid of needle. So I cannot find veins and I'm not good with signs. So I drop that. So you see, no point asking when you are young. <laughs> and yes, we have I share something I asked my son when he was uh, very young. Uh, about like six, uh, no, maybe eight years old or nine years old, you know. So I asked him, so oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? And then he said, I want to be a doctor. So I said, why do you want to be a doctor? And then he said, so that I can, I can heal you when you are sick. And I want to make sure that you live forever and ever. And I was like, oh... <laughs> So then, when he was a teen, yeah. So now that he, uh, when he became a teenager, I asked him back. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Then he's like, hmm. I think I want to be able to play uh, computer games forever and ever. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, wait. What happened to being a doctor? And you wanted to heal me and and make sure that I live forever and ever. Then he looked at me. Yeah, you know, it's like what what. <laughs> Yeah, but that that kind of that kind of uh, you know, it's the same thing. Like, well, whatever will be, will be correct. So, okay, I have a few comment over here, Lily. Uh, Arya is saying hello, Chante. I'm not sure is that your friend, but hi, Arya. Thank you very much. Uh, Vivian is saying I'm happy that BMS uh, Body Mind Soul Magazine managed to get Sarah to provide support to the public again. Very much needed. Yes, we we really hope once again. Let me pull this out. We truly hope that anyone and everyone can write in and will write in over here to um the website. Yeah, find out more bodymindsoul.com.my slash dear uh, on, uh dash Sarah. Yeah, or go to our website. On top, you can see a tab where we have Dear Sarah. Start pouring in all the feelings that you have. You know, Sarah is here and ready to talk to you. And Trisha is saying, whatever will be, will be, is kind of learn to surrender to. Yes, exactly, exactly. It is a way, surrender with a lot of compassion, surrender with a lot of love, surrender with a lot of trust as well with a lot of belief and faith inside us. And Vivian is saying, nurse or as Yeah, yes, that was what happened to me when I was young. Okay, so any other question from the crowd? You know, we really love to hear from you. Michelle, you asked me to sing in Mandarin, suggest a song. I'll try my best to fulfill the request from the audience as I always do. Okay, Good so... Good question, Michelle, because Christina can sing very well. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so Lily, what you wanted to be when you were young? Oh, actually, I was like you. I also wanted to be an air, uh, air stewardess, but then, you know, my height short stopped me short. <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth did we want to be an air stewardess, yeah? Well, we who else, who we else in the crowd, the... who else in the crowd have that, have that thought before? Please yeah, type in. Travel the world, you know? And, ah. and but we never thought about having to wash the toilet and serve people drinks and and whatnot, you know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and clean up after. So we yeah, only and, and thought about traveling the world. And warm up all the dishes before serving. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, I would like to really hear from all the crowd. Any other question over there? And uh, again, once again. Um, the reason Sarah is not here with us today is because she would prefer to remain anonymous so that anyone and everyone can come up and pour your heart out. So going back to uh, listening with open heart, Lily, what, what is your fair share about this that I talked about yesterday? You were there with me. Um, how about yourself? Um, you mean listening with an open heart? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I... You know, before I started with Body Mind Soul magazine, and um, I I do have friends that come over and and talk to me about you know their 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 life problems, whether it's their spouse or their children and whatnot. And um, if I think back then, I did have judgments, you know, giving mm -hmm. giving advice because we we under because I know my friends, I I know the family, 
you know. So sometimes we do give uh, advice Bias. based on personal judgments. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. but it is also through what I have been through, you know, because I had a failed marriage as well. So mm. when a friend came to me about her failed marriage, of course, I can only advise based on my experience, you know. But whether that again comes from my personal feelings, my personal experiences, and and that in a way can be a judgment. So so I it it's Sarah came about, you know, so so that again, you know, I felt that without that judgment and you not knowing or the readers not knowing who she is and she not knowing who you are is a very safe space so that there is no biasness, there's no judgment in, in any form of, of, of any aspects. And mm. therefore, you can advise each other and, and question each other from that point of view. Therefore, being anonymous is very important. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Do I have any question from the crowd? Let me see. Let me see. Any other thing that any one of you have had questions? So do drop in at the same time. This is the website that we have, and I believe we have published it quite a few times. So if not, then I will have to search for a song to sing again. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. I am not going to sing with you because I'm a banana and I have no clue how to sing in Chinese. <laughs> But I just want to highlight to everyone regarding uh, something that Lily realized through uh, Sarah, uh, also with Sarah, is the negative thought patterns. And I believe nowadays it, it happened more and more frequent to a lot of us because of whatever that's going on and all the news that is sharing around the globe on the news feed and also in our newspapers, whether it's domestic news or international news, a lot of times it tends to be um, a little more tilt towards the negative side. We do have positive things happen around the world as well. So it's in the end, it's all up to us what we chose to be. Yeah. So one of the things that Lily have shared with us through her experience was to be aware and be aware of your thought patterns be aware which side you always choose and with the awareness there comes you ask the right question and there comes you asking the right question and then you will need to have a constant practice as well right yeah so let me see i have no com can sarah help with parenting issue as well can sarah help with parenting issue as well definitely, yes definitely definitely like I said, yeah. you know, if you have, uh, if you own a business, for example, and you've done so much, but you still feel that the the revenue is not coming in, things are still not working out. Maybe it is related to a law of attraction and you, you're limiting beliefs and whatnot. So it is something that we can help too. And or if you feel that, you know, you, you, you um, whether it's a personal uh, challenge that you want to overcome uh, certain emotions or you're just feeling lonely and you just want someone to talk to. And um, like I said, you know, whether it's career, it's home, it's fam family issues, relationship, please, you can ask any questions to Sarah and she will be there to, to answer you and to help you through your challenges. Lily, in the past, did we receive any funny questions? I mean, um, unique question, put it this way. Unique, unique, unique question. Uh, um, not really, oh. I think um, people are genuinely having an issue, la, you know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't see. <laughs> what is funny to you? What is weird to you? Like out of ordinary, maybe something that is happening. Uh, maybe, maybe like you suddenly throw me, how do I know whether I'm judgmental or not? <laughs> That's not weird. <laughs> I mean, unique. That's why I say it's unique. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unique um, questions. Well, so far, the questions are can be quite deep to general questions. Mm. Um, how to support my child who has special needs. And I am um. going through a turmoil myself because I did not know how to handle uh, uh, the balance between giving a lot of attention to this special need child versus my other children. So we had a, a, a reader that quest gave in this question uh, to how to balance this with the, the other family members. 
and also how to emotionally be there for my special need child because she was also feeling very challenged and that she could not cope because she was also a working mother. So, uh, so this was addressed as well to the reader. So like mm, I said, you know, mm. there are many angles and situations that you feel that you can, that you don't know what to do, you know, emotionally or physically. I mean, physically, there's, uh, we can in a way help you too because we have a center called the Golden Space that allows people to also come and experience healing of, of, uh, of, uh, of sorts, whether it is emotionally or physically. And definitely they are non-religious as well. And if you want to experience uh, more in-depth emotional uh, uh, understanding, you know, mm. of, of where you're coming from and why do I attract this constant pattern, you know, I'm sure... Uh, that we can help you, uh, our center can help you as well. Yeah. Mm. I believe uh, some who are very new over here might not know who we are. We are we came from a magazine background, Body Mind Soul magazine, and it is also now running. Yeah, we have digital copy as well to all of you over here. You can subscribe and get one year of transformation journey together with us with Body Mind Soul magazine because all magazine do come with a a complimentary workshop that is worth 180 ringgit yeah and our next workshop lily is happening in september september 19 if i'm not mistaken you can also visit our website to get more information so i believe that will also conclude today our talk our discussion our live talk next week next week i'm very happy lily do you know why because we have someone very special again for our live talk next week really yeah, that? next week, I will be having a yoga instructor to come oh. up and join us. Not to, I would say it's not to do a yoga session because Christina don't host that kind of talk. <laughs> it's, a, it's a live talk. It's not a yoga session. But we will be having a yoga coach to help us um, understand a few certain steps uh, to release our stress and tension in certain parts of our body. So next week, we do have something like that as well. So stay tuned together. And um, also, once again, this is the beautiful Dear Sarah site, um, bodymindstone.com.my slash dear dash Sarah, or you tap on the tab on top and join us and also write in all your questions, allow us to four to five days to come back to you as well. So, and boys and girls, without further ado, we will kind of end today's session, but I will end it with one song that I've sang before. I can't find the Mandarin song. So I'll just end this because this is what the world needs now is love. I'll sing it again. I believe I sang it last week, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's last night. Uh, last week. Uh, last week on our Friday night. I didn't do it during the Saturday talk. So what... Everyone get ready, yeah? It's another song as per request to end the session with a song. I dedicate this song to everyone over here, especially to Sarah. Uh, she has been spreading so much love and um, supporting all of us and supporting the readers as well. Definitely what the world needs now is love, yeah? Clap first. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that's there just too little of. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. Just like Sarah is for everyone and Sarah is here to answer to everyone. So a very good afternoon and we beat farewell with this website this beautiful um logo that sarah has came out with so we look forward to see all of you next week same time at two o'clock and we will have more interesting topic coming up the next month as well so a very good evening and goodbye thank you lily for joining us our chief editor thank and thank you to all the viewers who are still here with us i'll uh, have a good weekend and wishing you a good sunday tomorrow as well goodbye and adios